Hi Emily. Hi. Hi Emily. Hi Emily. Oh hey. 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 Oh. Hi Trash Cat. Hi Emily. Hi Trash. Hi Emily. You know, you're like one of the the only person that I really like this year. And I'm, I'm gonna miss you in the next upcoming year. So like one word I could describe you is that you are. Uh, well, there's really a lot of work that I can describe you. You're smart, you're intelligent, because like uh, you're you try to make our division thrive and better than ourselves in the up, in the year that you were on LTG. Okay, wait, wait. Hi. Hi. Emily's a loser. I'm just she is in love with two people. She won't admit it, but I know, I know. I feel that's that I've won. She doesn't. My face probably close up. It's wrong. I love you! <laughs> Which I love you, you know I already love you. I wrote everything in the letter, but you are honestly my most sarcastic, amazing friend. I love that you're the only friend that I can hit and you won't knock to the ground, so thank you for not being crusty. Um, God, we're graduating, we're done. I'll tell you everything else this season, because like, I'm gonna see you for the next four years. I'm moving in to Ashley's crew, remember? So here's a good impersonation of Emily. No medals! Describe her in one word and why. Special. Cause that just that goes many ways. That's all I have to say. She's amazing. <laughs> She's one of a kind. And I love you, Emily. Emily? I mean favorite moment Emily. I'm sorry, what? Your favorite moment with Emily. I can't hear you. Your favorite moment with Emily? Excuse me? Yeah, my favorite memory was she was Dirk Decon when we were taking a picture and you were the one that was crying the whole time and I was laughing in front of your face because you were crying so much and I saw the picture, you know. Send it to me. <laughs> Emily, it's been great with you. Tag team of bling, really great. Our laughs were extremely loud, no matter if we were at a Key Club event or in yearbook. Thank you for being an inspiration. Really, you inspired me in so many different ways. No matter if it's actually a club. Thank you for motivating me to becoming president. You were a great LTG. You were my biggest role model in Key Club and at school. Thank you for being, for pushing me to my limits, or over my limits at school. And yeah, love you, Em. This year we've really gotten closer, and I just want to thank you for all of the things you've done for me. It's great, you know, just hanging out with you for our leapball runs, Chatsworth Park, um, you know, volleyball games. Seeing you guys come to my graduation was, was really, really great. And when I found out that you guys bought me flowers, I was so happy, I, I my heart melted. <laughs> my most memorable experiences are our late night runs for Boba. Another most memorable experience I had with Emily is um, we were going to McDonald's to get food and then I popped a tire that was really awkward but hey it got the tire fixed <laughs> all right go Look at that. Uh, Emily I'm very proud of you you came a long way I'm gonna miss you honestly without you you made Key Club wow. fun and I'll, you're probably one of the only reason I probably went to we events we you and Anthony and everyone else but I'm gonna miss you thank you for everything I'm gonna miss you Can something really quick to Emily real quick to Emily? yeah Sorry. We actually really like you. <laughs> Thank you. Go. Hey, what's good, Emily? My twin sister, my main beast. Oh, I'd love to say congratulations. Um, I really don't know what to say other than, like, you know, I'm happy for you. I know we kind of, you know, talk a lot, but honestly, I love you as a friend. I mean, we can still be girlfriend and boyfriend if you give me free pedicure, but you know what? It's all good, whatever. Um, once again, congratulations. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, yeah. If I had one word to describe Emily Tran, it would be independent. She's such an independent queen. She's um, always on top of her stuff, and she always makes sure that she's doing the best she can. She doesn't let any negativity or anything influence her or anybody else, and I think that's really amazing of her. And she's so independent, and I know she's going to do great things. And I'm really proud that she was served as one of my LTGs. Thank you, Emily, for always being professional. Um, Emily was always professional, always on top of everything. She always made sure that, although we did have fun, that everything was going smoothly. And I think it was a really good term, and everything went great. Thank you so much for leading our division last term. You were such an incredible leader, and I admire you in all types of ways. 
I know you're going to do so well in the future with everything that you've shown to our division and all of that. So for that, thank you so much and you'll be greatly missed. Too many moments? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, like honestly, like I'm just in school during government, which is just doing the dumbest things in her class. And even though we're across the hall, like across the room, then like it just she makes me laugh a lot. Describe her in one word. A crackhead. She, I don't know. She's she's a mess. She does the dumbest things all the time that <laughs> make. Uh, or says the dumbest things that she thinks are funny, but in reality it's funny because they're dumb. <laughs> My favorite moment would have to be Decon 2019, Service in Wonderland, because, well, it was just like very sentimental and we were just crying with each other. It was also my first Decon, and for her to be there was just like very impactful and uplifting and like she really made me cry a lot and I hope I made her cry too. Uh, I want to thank her for always being there, for being a person that I can trust with things. Um, she's always, she was always there for me, whether Key Club related or just like regular, just like general advice. Um, thankful for her presence, for her friendship, and yeah. Is yeah, that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Emily Chan, I want to thank you for making my first term an amazing one and a most like very memorable one. Um, I just want to thank you for like including me because as an incoming member in um, Division 6 East, I really didn't know what to expect and you having there was just like a very memorable experience because I don't know, I just wasn't expecting a lot but with you and your presence there and just having like a sense of leadership, good leadership, I it just really inspired me to like stay involved and like reach for like higher like things in the division. Just like really get myself out there. I can't believe that the term is already over and even though that I'm not close with you or I haven't known you for a long time, I feel like I know you like some type of way. Like I I remember that when we went to a carnival last June. We kind of bonded over the fact that we were both Buddhists because we were at a Catholic church and we're like, I don't know this. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just a good moment. Oh, my favorite moments is DLT bonding and those late night drives, getting boba and experiencing some crazy stuff. Abusive. 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 Why? She keeps taking Bob and uh, hitting Bob and also I see her around events and like hitting people. I want to thank Emily. I want to thank Emily for being a good LTG and uh, giving me the opportunity to serve in DLT alongside her. Thank you. Was Emily a good leader? In my opinion, I think that Emily was a great one because she was willing to make all the sacrifices that needed to be done. For example, she used to be in her own little bubble where she barely talked to anyone because she was so shy. And then eventually she broke out of that bubble, started talking to more people, do more public speaking. And that was really important for her term since she was up in front doing a lot of talking. So that was a very big sacrifice she had to make. Another sacrifice she had to make was her mental health. I'm sure there were many, many, many times that was super stressful for her, for her, whether it's just school, whether it's the president, whether it's the division in general. It must have been super stressful on her. My favorite memory of Emily was seeing her on the decon stage as she was walking next to Elaine to take the Region 7 photo with all the other LCGs and the future ones because now that I think about it, that was the happiest I've ever seen Emily at a Key Club event. And I don't really blame her because after four years of being a koala and after one year of being an LTG, I'm sure it felt really great to finally be retired and to pass the club on to someone else. Describing Emily with one word, I would say surprising. Two reasons for why I say she'd be surprising. At first, I thought she was scary. Like, Loki, I didn't want to go up to her. I was like, dang, she's probably gonna kill me. But, Turns out, she's not that mean. Well, as a president under her term as LTG, she's kind of scary. But overall, if you get to know her, she's, she's really cool. 
I guess. And the second reason why I think she's surprising me, to me, is because of how much she's changed. I've known her since freshman year, from when she didn't like talk to anyone other than her sister and a select few individuals. And then now she went from that to being the LTG, and that's a really big transition. So I think one word would be surprising. Impersonate something that she does. I don't know about you guys, but Emily does this thing. Well, I guess it's kind of my fault because I might be doing something questionable, but other times it's not even my fault. Like she'll just, I'll just be doing me and she'll just give me that look like gyrus. Or like, she just have like her eyes wide open, like with her head tilted. And she'll like whisper something under her breath. And it's just like, gyrus. Yeah, something she does often, to me at least. Her laugh is like, <laughs> do an impersonation of her. I'm not doing an impersonation. Do an impersonation I'm, of her. I'm not do doing the syllable one. No, but she does extend her syllables a lot. Like, you stupid, or you are. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can put that uh, in. You can't put that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's me. Yeah. yeah. Do your yaw! Do your yaw! 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 Do your yaw? Yeah! Yeah! I'm like, yaw! Yeah. <laughs>